Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Simon just got up and he's stretching and waking himself up and soon he'll probably grab a meal or something. It's it's only four in the morning, he's an early riser. In fact, was there something about Edmund not needing as much sleep as the rest twice as fast? Yeah, so Edmund will be up here pretty soon too. There he is, <laughs> grabbing a meal with Simon. Okay. So if I sound a little disoriented or scratching my head trying to figure things out this time, it's because I've already recorded this episode once. When I was done, I hit the stop record and it started recording. I thought, oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Somehow the start didn't happen, so the stop became a start and I missed the whole thing. Thankfully, this game allows me to back up and redo. Unlike Stardew Valley, as you progress time, it it doesn't give you previous saves you're you're out of luck so you just lose days <clears throat> but these guys let's see these guys um, we need to get some research done today the pointy red plant over there and this stuff over here and Edmund is one of them Edmund, I'm gonna stop you right now and send you over here to observe I think let me check your stats are you in good shape Everything but relaxation. Come over here and observe a shroom torch. <clears throat> we'll, we'll find that log later. You do that and then walk over and observe the twisted plant. Simon, how are you doing? You're not Simon. Simon needs to observe the... Can you both do it at the same time? If I tell you to do that, does that cancel, Edmund? Oh, you both can do it. Cool. You do that. There is something big flying over. I don't know. I guess it was one of these bugs or something. Anyway, um, Simon, when you're done hooraying at the at the shroom torch, can you go over and observe the red pointy plant? Thank you. Whoa, we went up the hill. <laughs> okay. It's seven in the morning. Boy, there's a lot of clouds out here. Interesting. I'd be curious to find out if things happen the same way that they did last time and to give you a hint on what happened last time let's um let's hmm take this wall down <laughs> we got a bug attack and i've tried something new deconstruct carter you are when you're done you're going to come and deconstruct and i want to I want to expand this i really need a better quality wall Let's do that. Let's redo this. Um, can I double click all of them? I can. Deconstruct you and you. We need a better quality wall. They, they ate through this like it was nothing. Now, of course, there's no guarantee that the same events are going to happen for me twice in a row. <clears throat> it could be a roll of the dice on which day it happens and a roll of the dice on how many actually come and what have you. But... I tried something and it kind of worked so I've got a little practice and we'll try and do it a little bit better this time what was that noise oh we're we're adding materials huh. we're not getting back near as much as we put into it fences cost what fence you you cost two and we're getting back one okay I hate to use the poles but I think we're going to have to do it yeah so let's make before I lose everything here let's go a little bit bigger okay like that and I guess you're just going to continue that way that's fine you copy to there to there and like so bandages okay that means that Paulette is working on bandages at the moment just got her first ones done and I did get in there and get rid of the synthetic uh, cloth that was accidentally left in for bandages so it's not going to be using those up now um, you copy we'll make this shoot nice and long and skin oh skin bark so Edmund got his research done uh, copy let's make yeah let's increase the length of the shoot though I don't know if that actually it didn't help at all what I did was I put them up on a uh, 
uh, a structure, and so they didn't go for the chute anymore. Huh. Which means this wall is kind of worthless. Yeah. <clears throat> we could just be up on a structure. And for that matter, flooring, wood, you know, um, X? Yeah. 15. Wow. Let's head down to like that. So we could just be sitting up on top of something like this. 5 by 2 and as they're breaking through we can step back a little bit actually that could work yeah i think this idea is now done so cancel and let's we want to still be next to our scarab statue or scarab eye statue so let's try it this way this time floor wood and we're still at four high one, two, three, four. There's five of us uh, right there. And we'll take it twice as deep just in case um, they do munch through one of them. Whoever's standing here can step back, hopefully. So Carter is now going to construct five, well, hopefully ten floors. All right, so that is our experiment for this episode. You're going to get this thing built. When we get attacked, we all get up on top. We are, we're all um, projectile now. We're, we've all got weapons that, that shoot, <clears throat> whether they're bolts or bullets. So we don't need to be on the ground with spears, which is what the shoot was for. And so the effectiveness of that old plan is pretty much over. And speaking of, we need... Who's in the area? Edmund... Maybe, hopefully, I'll remember tonight to get uh, you guys work uh, loading up the crossbows. Need one more crossbow. Paulette is building. Oh, she's working on bandages. Okay, crossbow will be next. She'll get through her bandages pretty quick. Let's take you down to just three crossbows for now. By the time we wear those out, hopefully, we will have gotten into a uh, uh, better kind of of, of gun. <clears throat> okay, so Carter is stairs, floor. Okay, you're going that way, you're going that way. And that means that um, Edmund did get the skin mark done. From a distance, the twisted shapes of the big purple plant resembles alien fossilized trees. Upon analyzing it further, I found that its bark was tough and felt almost like skin. I think that skin bark will be a fitting name for it. It should be possible to process it into a leather-like material. So it gives us harvesting, planting, veggie leather on a workbench, and construction of skin bark beds. Meaning beds. Now we have another option. Nope. There. I see. We don't have any in stock. Okay. So, <clears throat> food-wise... Um, Rita has made six of the veggie soups and is making meat soups next. And she's behaving really well. She's behaving. She's, she's following her chain of command here, her instructions, and she is satisfying cooking completely now. So what caused her not to before, I do not know. But now the tasks seem to be working properly. Though, if I were to queue up a bunch of harvesting, <clears throat> that's right, there was one harvest over here that needs to be canceled because it's just going to possibly get in the way. These are not harvest. You're eating that, aren't you? Uh, no. One cut, 20. <clears throat> I don't know. There's no bar. But I'm hearing chomping and crunching. Oh, what are you? Blade grass. Oh, okay. I mean, what is that? Interesting. So you're chewing away at something, but it still says there's 20 blade grass. Um, hay zero of 20. So does that mean you've just about eaten it? I don't know. Well, interesting. So remember that spot. No, he just left. So, 20, 20, and 20. Still says the same thing. 
and I said for observe. <clears throat> so I guess that was just his animation to look like he's eating something. Okay. So Carter, how many logs can you carry at one time? Um, each one of these is 12, so you need to bring 60 next time. Do we have 60 on the floor anywhere? We might not. Yeah, Edmund is dropping them as fast as he can, but there's only 30 on the ground over there. So you're constructing a floor because there isn't anything left. Okay, so Edmund, you are now going to stop and construct... Oh, you can't. <laughs> Carter, why don't you come over and construct a floor now that there's 60 available? Um, you're just going to get the 10? Oh, good. You are smart enough to go find more. Thank goodness. Okay, so Rita is planting. All right, let's let... That's right. Yeah, I want to get this going. And, in fact, while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to pause a second and extend this field out. Let's get a bit more of this. this is, these are the, the bush berries. Let's get another group of those. I think it went to there. Yeah. And <clears throat> I noticed something that the heptagonias grow really well on rock as compared to grass. 25% growth rate here. 100% on rock or gravel. So, which means they would grow, well, they grow well right over there in the gravel. So, let's put a big patch of this up in here. Something like, oh, yeah, might as well just take the hillside. Sure. And that'll just be a closer patch of this stuff. And then we have this now. So, let's go ahead and drop that in as well. You got the meals done? You got the meals done. Six veggies and six meats. We don't have any more grain. We're waiting for these to finish up. So you got everything cooked that you can cook. And the uh, buttermelon pie takes the grain as well. So farming and skin bark. Likes this area here. I think that's where it's going to go. All right, so let's get... I can turn that back on again. We'll get one up in there. And... Looks like we can get two in there. And what? Can I get... Uh, we'll do something like that. Alright. So that gives us... Oh, it's not all in the same one. Oh well. There's a bunch of skin bark for later. Or armor or furniture or whatever it gets is needed for. And for that matter, let's go ahead and get this uh, set to harvest. Clean those up. And these up. There we go. All right, did that harvest? Harvest? It didn't harvest. Are we there? So did I get this properly? I did. It's all lit up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> veggie armor. Can I get out of that? There we go. So veggie armor. Last time I went through this, I sat for quite a while scratching my head trying to figure out... It, it says that new research is veggie armor, like we just researched it, but turns out that it's now available to be researched. Right uh, there. And it's just lit up with a little star. Flare shielding is lit up, which means um, shielding your electronics and electrical devices from uh, solar flares, which will take them out while the solar flare is going on. Um, silicone leaf. So Simon is on his way back soon. The pointy red plant has a bulky core with peculiar patterns which synthesize an unlikely substance, silicon. I have never heard of such a plant before, so it might be unique to this world. I've named it Silicon Leaf, so it gives us harvesting and planting. And there's not much of that out there, but we do want to get that harvested soon. In fact, maybe Rita could come do that now. Just, or actually, Simon, how desperate are you to eat? You could get a, well, boy. You don't have a high score in, in farming. Uh, skill level and there's only a few of these on the map I think I better let Rita do it 
just guarantee it, it works out right. So you and there were some over in here. Um, I think it's hiding in all of these trees. Uh, silicone leaves. Okay, we'll harvest those. And there might be just enough time for her to make this walk. Rita, how's your... Your food is good enough to do this and come back. Can you... They're lit up over there. Rita is... There. Okay, so this is closer to there. I hear the wind blowing. Yeah. Blowing and gusty. Afternoons seem to be temperature. We're at 70 degrees. Okay. Um, we're getting into the beginning of summer. I wonder if that makes a difference weather-wise. Rita, can you come over here immediately and harvest these two? And once we've got that in stock, we might be able to start doing something with it. But... Um, where do you like to grow? You are at this one. And you're kind of the same place as all the other ones. You know, right in there. Um, let's go ahead and put you in... Let's see, there. Down like so. And extend over one. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Get a bunch of those plants growing. Edmund is cutting. Um... Are we... We're ready to go. We are five wide. There's one for each of us. They don't need stairs to get up here. Bugs do. So they will pull a, a ladder out of their pocket and slam it on that wall and climb up and then tuck that ladder away and put it back in their pocket. I don't know how they do that, but that's, that's what they do. <laughs> um, we still... Yeah, 25 left. So another couple bowls of veggie soup. We'll hopefully get rid of this so we can get rid of that. Although I don't know if we need the new cook stove now. That was the plan for right here. Because um, it's working now. She's she's uh, cooking like she's supposed to. So I don't know what to make of that. Um, new resource, silicon. Okay. Does that give us some kind of electronics crafting finally so does this make the it makes the soldering workbench that's what i have been waiting to figure out where where is the soldering workbench okay you're next and probably before pickling let's put pickling back in though um pickling musical instruments are are next yeah we, we still need to get that going but actually brick is going to be important here real soon too okay let's go with that um, I don't know that I want to. Heat pump will make hot or cold. Right? Two-way heat pump, built-in thermostat. You have an air conditioner uh, capable of maintaining room temperatures to the desired level. So actually it creates heat or cold. That's the way heat pumps usually work. Um, to build a room rim world style and make a refrigerator out of a room with a heat pump in the wall, versus putting in a refrigerator. This uses 20 alloy and some power. This uses whatever that thing is down there with the one. Don't know if that's a circuit board or just what, electronics maybe? Hmm, just debating whether or not to research this or just wait. Pretty soon it's gonna be cold again. <clears throat> Although we could we could do both. We could get a refrigerator going, and then when we get into here, put in a freezer, a freeze room. Let's see. <clears throat> Kitchen. Maybe part of this is the freezer. Yeah. And then some kind of storage for a workroom over here with all the workbenches. Maybe so. So maybe this becomes a wall right here and and a heat pump out one wall or maybe out maybe two of them. Now with uh, that size it'd be only one. Okay, just, just thinking out loud. Uh, turn you back on. I like to see the roofs. At least with these structures. You can see under them easy enough. When we get to the house we're probably going to have to keep the roof off. Um, 
What am I? What was I doing? Rita is on her way back, I assume. Are you transporting all of it? You are. So we've got silicon now. And I know what I was going to do. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. <laughs> Last time something happened that was interesting. Let's see if I can recreate it for all of you. But let's... See, Simon's usually uh, capitalizing or, you know, hogging this research desk. And when he wasn't there, something happened that kind of surprised me. So let's move this over to here. And you're so close to finishing, I won't bother you. But I really want... Oh, that's right, let's get these weapons on us tonight. So I need you to finish that too. So the next person that wanders this direction is going to be... Carter's taking a walk there. we got fuel fermentation. So let's go ahead and set... Um, now I'll go ahead and read it. The rotting meat of a giant alien insect leaks terrible smell and highly flammable substances. We may use this to reduce liquid fuel by placing a lot of raw insect meat into a tightly closed fermentation barrel and let's hope it doesn't blow up. Yeah, so let's set you for liquid fuel and put a couple of you in there and when the bug meats do show up with the next battle we will be able to uh, load up this thing a couple of times and then when more <clears throat> uh, grain cob shows up you will also get some more antibiotics going but so that's done you immediately begin researching musical instruments so yeah I think that's probably the next most important one so we'll go that route um, but I want to make another research desk because oh I need Carter to handle shroom torch. You're grabbing shroom, so why don't you just go over and move this one first? You're closer to here. So get that moved. We'll get another one of these going, and maybe we'll get to see this uh, new part of this new feature that uh, we got to see last time. So you, Simon, is going to sleep. Um, or maybe I could force it to happen, but let's get this built anyway. So copy and reverse, drop you there. That way they're both where we can find them. Uh, Edmund is doing what? He is handling the shroom torch. I wonder if you can write short stories. He did this all on his own last time. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll get him to do that tonight. He sleeps faster than everybody else. So he can stay up later and not uh, not worry about that. Do I still have his his uh, schedule set for that? Yeah, extra hour of or a one hour less of sleep. In fact, he could almost do that twice. Yeah, he'll go to bed early if he wants to. If he gets tired, it'll trigger anyway. What is? Oh, those are plants. Okay, I thought they were things sitting out here. Oh, interesting. So they're going to grow in, in clusters now. Come on, click away. There. In in groups instead of all one massive pile. Yeah, because they're really close together here. Okay, it'll be a different look. Uh, so Edmund writes. Edmund, bio, relaxes by writing short stories that inspire others when read. And I had forgotten all about that. I got to see it happen last time. There we go. He just threw him out on the floor. So he is going to put basically four rounds of relaxation up on that shelf. And anybody who grabs one of these and reads it gets a plus 18 for a while. I didn't notice how long it lasted. We'll have to check that out. Okay, Rita is bringing back the silicone. She is probably going to be exhausted. It's one in the morning. Um... Will you walk any faster if you aren't carrying something? Well, I guess you'll be fine. What's your Rita? Your your average your mood is still fine. Your survivor's determination is really helping. And slept in a comfy bed apparently lasts for a long time. Let's give him a 24-hour boost. Okay. And there are many fun things to do. Really? Well, we got the dartboard in. Okay, well, that helps. Um Otherwise, sleeping, 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 sleeping. So we're we're ready. Okay. Um, crossbows. I didn't get that done. Will I wake people up if I tell them to 
Ah, uh, that didn't work. Simon, when you get up in the morning, hold down the shift, equip crossbow. Good. You'll do it tomorrow. Simon. That was Simon. Edmund, same thing. Uh, shift and equip crossbow. And we only have the two. This one must still be working on. Yeah, almost done. Okay. So we'll get Carter a crossbow tomorrow. Paulette should have just enough time to do that. And Rita is getting something to eat. How is our food doing? Ah, uh, 66% there, 75% there. Coffee probably has a quite a long shelf life. That's good. And we still have a buttermelon pie left. That's what Rita probably should have eaten. She's going to need quite a bit of boosts after that uh, long, grueling day out there. And we don't... Well, I don't know how far it goes before they get food poisoning. I'm not sure when I told Edmund to eat that pie last time. No, it, what was it? I guess it was a pie. Whatever that was. Oh, that was the bug attack. That was episode 10 of the last series. It was a fruitcake. It wasn't steaming green and r rotting when I sent him, when I told him to eat that, but he was sure uh, feeling it an hour later. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta be careful about uh, food poisoning or or uh, we, we get him sick. Anyway, you guys are doing your thing. Carter's waking up. He is... They tend to walk over here and stretch when they wake up. It's interesting how they, they kind of follow the same pattern there. So what are you going to do? Carter, happiness. You probably could use a meal. And we could short-circuit your needing for relaxation if we just get you to eat some buttermelon, butter, yeah, buttermelon pie right now. So who was that? That is Edmund. He's equipping. Okay. He's getting his his uh, crossbow. This game likes to know what you think. They sent a lot of feedback messages. I'm going to pass on that one. And fuel fermentation we can pass on. Okay. So all of our research is done. What else is on my list over here? Um, we got all the plantings done. Or at least in the ground. Or the blueprints. And that was it. Okay, so the to-do list is done. Now we just need to see what's going to happen today. So these are going to be shorter episodes than they have been. And I am still recording, right? Good. I'm a little gun-shy now. Um, you are constructing the research desk. Okay, so if we have a research desk available at all times, not being used, or we could even double up on research if we need something done. Can you? Let's find out if that's true. Can I get Edmund and Simon both researching, you know, something that we need like right now and see if it's possible to uh, get that done twice as quick. Paulette is about to finish crafting the, uh, the crossbow and then she should move over and start getting us clothing. And we are starting summer now, so get those hats on and some of the clothes that I queued up were uh, summer clothes. So we'll see how that goes. Paulette is going to read a short story. Has anybody else done that yet? Well, we're 7 o'clock. Rita's reading, so I guess it's uh, it's reading time. Yeah. Edmund is constructing his research desk. Oh, I see. It's already loaded, and that was his next task. Aha. Inspiration. So what happened with the uh, short story? Let's pop into that. Did not. Rita did. Um, or, or is still. Enjoyed a short story, plus 18. But what is inspiration? Brain inspiration. So from reading, they get plus 10 consciousness and plus 10 manipulation because they read. Interesting. Any other bonuses that showed up on Paulette? Besides the 18. Nothing else there. No little marks on skills to say that that increased. Okay, well, that's that's a nice find right there. Okay. Rita's taking a walk, so she must have the same thing. Yeah. Did Edmund get it from writing? Um, he wrote a short story, plus 18, but did not get the inspiration as a result. 
So... Hmm. I guess he used up his inspiration coming up with the story. Yeah. Favorite pastime, plus 18, and cooking, plus 18. Did she get a double 18 out of that? Interested in cooking, enjoyed the story. Um... I don't see favorite past... Oh, there it is, a plus six. Uh-huh. Boy, lots of bonuses when you get them doing what they want to do. So Carter is going away. Actually, Carter, I should have grabbed you beforehand. Come and equip this crossbow. And that's the last of the crossbows, and that's all we need. Paulette's got the pulse rifle, and Rita has the pistol. So that is our shooting platform, even, you know, assuming that we're going to get an attack today. It might not happen. It might happen tomorrow instead. It may be entirely random. If it does, it hit at 1 p.m. in the afternoon on the second day that I recorded. So we'll see if the game really is locked in to a, uh, hello, to a set schedule like that. I wouldn't think so. I would think it'd be random. Unless... When you roll the, the seed for the map, that sets into stone all of the random. I don't know. be interesting to, to know that. Um, and you think, oh, wow. There's a whole pile of these guys over here. Look at that. Huh. That might be worth an expedition. That just might be. Um... There would be time to get it after 1 p.m. if if we don't get the bug attack coming in. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, just kind of seeing if anything flags my attention. Rita is cooking all on her own. <clears throat> Even though there is planting queued up to be done. And Edmund must be cutting trees. There he is. Because this keeps going down. Which is a good thing. Any more 30s in here? 26s. There were a lot of 28s that were ready. How much are these? Oh, they're, they're 20s. They're not as much. New straw hat. So, right there on the shelf. And Paulette, why don't you put it on? Equip the straw hat. You get the first one. Straw hat... A light hat made of hay. Okay. There you go. And you are cooled from the heat. Um, more wood just went off the list up there. Rita is harvesting. Because we have all the meals that we can make, most likely. We're only queued up to make five at a time. So the sixth one is a bonus because we make two at a time. Once in a while. <clears throat> so you're going to... Bring back some leather, which should open up. That's right, we have to do the research before we're going to get to use it. Yeah. But we do have another research bench available now. Oh. And 1300. Okay, it happened just like before. So, at some point, the game sets into its programming exactly what it's going to do and when it's going to do it. Okay. Day 13, day 12 at 1 p.m. So, what have we got? They're up here. And are they going to munch out on this guy? No, they seem content. They're not uh, too worried. We've got two of the explosives, two of the overgrowns, and 12 of the normals. Okay. So, 1 p.m., so 7... 1900 hours we should be uh, expecting an attack we are crossbowed we're not Simon you never grabbed a crossbow what happened there uh, Simon and okay I don't know what happened there I thought we had three crossbows there is another crossbow there it's just not stored there. Where is it stored? Uh, 
Okay, is it possible for someone to have more than one crossbow on them? No. Okay, so where's the other crossbow stored? And is there a way to find that out? Here are three of the short bows. There's nothing on that next shelf unit over there. There's no weapons over here. Is it in the workbench? It's right there. Ah, that's... Yeah, that's kind of hard to remember. That, that, that'll that catch you off guard pretty easy. The workbench stores as well as the shelves store. Okay, so you are now equipped. And somehow I had Carter grab the one that was meant for you. But you're reading a short story so you can become inspired as well. Which is probably good. How long did those last? Paul, Ed, you were the first one to get it. You, um... Inspired. Doesn't say for how long. Inspiration. The plus 10 consciousness and manipulation that would probably help us shoot and aim and maybe even reload crossbows. So hopefully that's still valid when we are you know, fighting for our lives over here in, what, two more, four more hours? Yeah, it came at 13. Four more hours. All right. Um, until then, Rita is eating. Simon is drinking coffee. And Paulette is tailoring. More hats. <laughs> well, a hat box. Did you see that? Wait, wait, what? So clothing comes in boxes. That looked like a hat box. Um, aggressive animals. Oh, we've got more trees coming down. So that means Edmund is up in here. And he's just having a ball, getting his physical up. Carter, I wonder if Carter gets his physical built up as he constructs. Dropping trees makes sense. Construction, no, because it, it actually is construction, not physical. So I guess that won't be the case. So he has to cut the trees or or mine or something like that to get physical. So Rita's cooking some more. So yeah, the cooking is working again. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know what happened. We have the uh, harvest queued up and she's not jumping into that so long as there's still cooking to be done. So that's a good thing. It is working. We're at 1,700, two more hours. Rita is now harvesting. I don't think you're going to have time to do that and get back. So what else is there for you to do? You could use a nap, but yeah, you're fine for the rest of this day. Um, let's just keep you nearby. Are you capable of... There's no more scavenging in that one. Okay. Why don't you scavenge that one? So you are the landing pod used by survive. Salvage progress zero of six. Are there multiple rounds? No, they're not. Research spaceship destruction to unlock salvaging. And I guess that then gives you one last round of zero of six. Uh, scav oh, scavenge and salvage. That's what I'm not seeing. You can scavenge this thing or you can salvage this one once we've unlocked this. There you are. Spaceship deconstruction. It's a whole day of research, though. Some of these are more important than that, so I'll just leave the, the hulks there. Though... In that case, it isn't just cleaning up your map. You've got six more chances to pull a railgun sniper out of there. Is that right? That sounds right. Which means it may be a little bit more important than I had given it. The synthetic armor. Boy, I'd love to have some of that. Anything else pop in recently? Uh, looks like the same groups. You are waiting for the first fuel. Which is us waiting for you guys to supply the first fuel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's let this thing go. And so Rita's heading out here and she can get back to here quick enough. Um, Edmund is coming in to eat so good. Everybody is going to be ready for this attack. Uh, except Paulette. Your food is fine. Okay. So you are going to construct a floor. Carter, what can I have you do instead? Actually, I could have had you do this and have Rita do some planting. 
Um, there's still an hour and a half left. Let's do that. Rita, come on over here and plant the silicon leaf. And Carter, you come over here and scavenge the ship. And what is there? Simon is going to research. Edmund, if you have any time left, you'll probably just be finishing dinner by then. <clears throat> but I could have you do some more researching. But, and we could see if two are able to research the same project. That'd be nice. But you guys are about to activate. And nope, they're aggressive. Oh, they're just scarabai. Doesn't actually say aggressive except for right here. The following animals have noticed the camp and are preparing to attack in a couple of hours. So I thought that they would be aggressive. In other words, if we walked through the middle of this, I'm sure they would attack us, right? I don't know. Or will they not attack us until they actually trigger in one hour? Or less than an hour? Maybe that's when they trigger too aggressive. In which case, that's when they eat this guy. <laughs> Boom. Boy, everything just started to lag down on me. That's odd. Um, so we're, oh, so we're like ready now. Okay. I didn't actually get everybody on to, all right, everyone draft like that and everybody jump onto this, but you're not actually going to get lined up properly yet, are you? All right, everyone get moving. They're going to be coming down one of these two pathways. Hopefully we're a little faster than they are, but I'd like to be able to get some shots off from a distance before they get to us. So everyone get up on top, and Carter, put you out there. Uh, Carter, Carter, put you right there. Okay. Are they coming? Here they come. So Paulette, you're going to be in the middle. And Rita, you can be over here on this side. And Simon, you can be there. Hopefully I'm not screwing up the ladders by telling them to do these things. We're missing somebody. Who are we missing? Uh, one, two, three, four. We're missing somebody. Carter, Edmund. We're missing Simon. Where is... Oh, Simon is... He's stacked on top of somebody. Okay. You're going there. And Simon, you can go right there. Rita, but you... It keeps wanting to grab the, the walls. Rita, you go there. Okay, and whoever gets the first shot, do it. Okay, stopped him in his tracks. We especially need to get the explosive scarabai out, uh, knocked out, but these guys, I think, can do a lot of damage. Is it giving any clues? Their health is 50 as compared to a normal one whose health is 10. So each of these are worth 10 of those. So I would imagine their bite is just as bad. So, I hate for you to all shoot the same one, but can I tell you to do that? Good, nobody went and got down. Okay, okay, let him chomp away. I need all of you to take out that explosive one. Good, and it didn't kill him, but it knocked him out. All right, just Carter, take out this one. I wish it gave me some kind of confirmation, a, a flicker or a flash or something. Okay, Carter, you work on him. The rest of you guys take out... Okay, boom, boom, boom. Take out him. Oh, that pulse rifle is nice. We're going to have to research that one. We're going to need to keep that one replaced. Everybody take out him. Oh, boy. He's close. Now, what kind of damage does that do? 28, 34, 37, 64. When this thing breaks, are they going to fall or will they know to step back? I don't know. But somebody... Uh, Rita, you're the most sure shot we've got. Take him out before he gets any closer. Okay, someone... That was Rita? That was Rita. She got him. Okay. The rest of you guys, our big ones are done, and our explosives are done. You guys just have fun. Shoot whomever you like. Take them out. Although, you guys can't see him. So, oh, you got to run down to do that? you got to run down to do that. Oh, and they're that close. Okay. Um... 
Although, Simon looks like he's trying to. Let's get Edmund. No, let's get Carter to come down and take him out. And... Yeah, we're going to have to do that. We, we, we can't shoot them when they're right up against the wall. At least not on the side. And now he went running around the outside. Oh! Wooden structure collapsed. Rita fell in. And did that create an injury? It did not. She has... Why does she have euphoria? That usually happens after they have had a... Uh, a major break. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Something is... Uh, okay, Carter, you need to help Rita. Hunt Scarabai, yes. And all the rest of you, can you help out Rita here? Shoot those things. So she fell. And what am I seeing here? So she's on the ground. She's... Oh! She's nearly dead oh so uh, that's her her bar right there Rita and come on give me Rita there we are that's what I didn't get so she's only bleeding one an hour or she's 195 out of 200 what is the red bar right there that's a scary bar is it this thing no is it one of the bugs it, there's a bug in there that's what it is. She's fleeing. Is that what I'm getting out of that? There's just too much going on here. Can I turn off any of this? Turn. Do that. And click on... Okay, i got to have the faces. Click on Rita. Oh, that red bar is gone. But she is either injured or something. I guess she's dazed from the fall. Maybe that's what it is. But guys, I need you all to start uh, hunting or get down there and stab or something. All right, take him out. All right, we're... Oh, you fell down in there too. Okay. So there is... Yeah. There is a problem of being up on top and having the floor knocked out from underneath you. Yeah. Okay. Well... If we get brick researched in time, then they will last longer. We're learning. I'm learning. <laughs> all right, all of you guys, um, let's undraft. And you three go to bed. Edmund, you are going to heal them. And you're going to heal... Who? Anybody bleeding out faster? One per hour, one per hour, one per hour. Okay, 196, 196, 194. Edmund, you can heal Paulette first. She is also... You both want to be doctors. So that way she can help you do the other ones. So everyone's going in. Simon, how desperate are you? Oh, you're... No, you're not injured. You just have this scary red bar on here. Um, you're not desperate for food. Let's begin the process of butchering. Right there. That's all of them. Simon, you get started actually right in the middle of that. Butcher you and butcher you. So you start tearing those apart and I'm going to say do not repair. Let this, this may not be here for the next attack. So don't repair those. So what's happening over here? Uh, Paul, uh, no, Edmund started to handle something. You're going to heal Paulette first. Okay. So feed Paulette, heal Paulette. You heal Paulette, and then she will help you heal these guys. Then you can all grab a meal. And Simon. Oh, you're not lit up anymore. There, there, and there. Okay. So you butcher away. And I'll add some more to your to your list. Until someone else can come out there and relieve you. Okay. Um, Edmund, where did you go? You are healing Paula. You you want uh, probably out there to go grab some some logs and go start stocking up the the cabin or something like that. 
Alright, so you heal Paulette. Paulette is... Bitten off flesh from her right foot. And Edmund is... Healing. Skilling up. So when he finishes that, that 531 should jump up. We'll see that happen. He's currently at level 3. And just about there... Illness, Paulette. Ooh, that's not good. You did jump up a little bit. You now need um, antibiotics, right? Let's take a look at that. So you've got an, a mild infection in your right foot. So you need the salve, salve. Instead of antibiotics, we have both. We have both, but the healing balm apparently is enough. Okay. So you're going to do that. I'll let you work on her one more time. They're bleeding, but they're not bleeding badly. And that will increase the chance that both of us can go and work on you too. So waiting treatment and the infection is gone. And you are healed. Okay. So Paulette is recovering. Well, you're recovering. You're going to heal Carter. Can I, well, instead of recovering, can I get you to heal Rita? Uh, sorry, I know you'd love to just go to sleep the rest of the night, but uh, can you limp over here and make sure that she doesn't bleed out on us? Of course, at one an hour, she's not going to, but still. The drama. <laughs> now, Paulette has an interest in healing. So, now Paulette is only a level one healing but she's interested in it Edmund got 300 points added to his experience she gets 600 so she gets twice as much experience from doing that that's good to know is Carter done he is bite is treated left foot um, pain 2% <sighs> Simon, how are you doing? Are you still out here? You are transporting. Okay. Let's have Carter come back and butcher those and those. He can limp out here and do that. We'll let uh, Edmund... Actually, Edmund's going to sleep. Let's let Edmund do that instead. Carter, you cancel. You do what you want to do. Edmund, you come on out here and do this. You don't need sleep as much. So you butcher that one. And butcher that one, and butcher that one. And that will take care of things. And Paulette reached healing too. Good. And actually, Simon, can you, once you drop those off, ferment liquid fuel? I'd like to see that, that happening. It'll be, it'll be ready for us next episode to see the, uh, the results. Alright, so Edmund is butchering... Carter and Rita are recovering and sleeping. And Simon loaded one up. I don't think we have enough for a second. We need 50 at a time. So he's getting some food finally. Paulette is eating. And we will have Edmund load up the other one when he's done. And once those are loaded, I think that's probably a night. In fact, it's one in the morning. Um... Yeah, you work on those. Is anything not queued up? You, Edmund, there, are Edmund. Butchering, transporting. So let's have you butcher this one as well. Right there. Then you'll get to transporting. Okay. And then, well, I've got to wait for the transporting to actually happen, I think. If I queue this up now, you might somehow skip it. Yeah, let's let's just wait a second here. Once you pick those up, seventy-one of them. Great. You transport those in, and then load this guy up, and that will be ready to go. So everyone's sleeping. I think that is an episode. Um, Rita can get back to filling in all of these next time. We have enough meals for breakfast. We have eight. And I think we're good to go. Alright, so let's we'll watch uh, 
Edmund do his thing here. And then we'll call this one done. Anything new move in? Don't see anything else out there. You're handling the fermentation barrel. And we still have 50 on the shelf, which Rita will turn into meat soup tomorrow, most likely. We'll eat some for breakfast. Carter's grabbing food, and I think we're done. So I'll catch you folks next time, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.